Hello kids! Welcome to English 4. Our lesson for today is predicting outcomes of events in the story. Are you ready? Good! Let us read the paragraph. Ivan likes eating sweet foods. He consumed three chocolate bars, a dozen of candies and a bag of sugar-coated nuts before going to bed. What could possibly happen? A. Ivan will have a headache. B. Ivan will suffer from toothache. C. Ivan will suffer from stomachache. If your answer is B you have predicted the outcome. Predicting is giving possible outcomes or events that could happen in the story based on the situations or ideas presented. Ivan will suffer from toothache based on the clues we can find in the given situation like eating sweet foods like chocolate bars, candies and sugar-coated nuts. Making a prediction is when we use clues in the story to make a guess about what will happen next. Let us read the situation carefully then check, what will be the ending from the given choices. 1. It is noontime but the sky is dark. Thick black clouds are sailing low in the sky. What will be the ending from the given choices? 8. Pretty soon heavy rain will fall. 2. Daniel had a bad cold that Sunday morning. But Daniel could not help but wait in the flooded streets and play in the rain. What is your answer? Correct. The next morning Daniel could not go to school for he had a fever. Three. Chloe got the highest grade in all her subjects. She went home happily, and showed her cards to her parents. The answer is, her parents were so happy that they bought Chloe a new pair of shoes. 4. Andrea watched a lot of ghost stories in the television before she went to bed. That night Andrea got up from bed shouting and crying for some ghosts tried to carry her away. The correct answer is Andrea's parents told her that she had a nightmare, a bad dream. Rommel had a toy gun that explodes like a real gun when fired. One night Rommel saw a thief trying to get into their house so he fired his toy gun. What is the ending? Right. The thief thought it was a real gun so he ran away. Read each the sentence in column A and column B. Choose the ending that fits the beginning. Join the beginning and ending with a line. 1. The wind was strong. C. And the rain was heavy. 2. Rosie wants to walk. A. But Edna wants to ride. 3. Rico searched his pockets. B. But he could not find any coin. 4. I got lost. E. But my mother found me. 5. They were all very tired. D. But they were happy. Let us now read the situations then tell what's next. Choose the best answer from the choices. Circle the letter of your answer. 1. Ricky saw the ice cream vendor coming. He went to his room and got a coin from his wallet. Then, he ran out into the street. He called the vendor and underscore. A bought some bread. B bought some fruits. C bought some ice cream. 
What's the correct answer? Correct. C bought some ice cream. 2. Tanya could not go out and play because she had a bad cold. So, she went into their little library and got a book of fairy tales. Next she went into her bedroom and underscore A listen to the radio. B read her favorite stories. C watch a movie. And the correct answer is B read her favorite stories. 3. Rama lives in the province. He wanted very much to go to Manila to see the Laneta Park and the zoo. But his mother could not give him the money for the trip. So Rama got his shoe shine box and walked along the streets calling A. Balloons. Who will buy balloons? B. Balut. Pinoy. Peanuts. C. Shine. Shine shoes. What is your answer? Right. C. Shine. Shine shoes. 4. John wanted to get high grades in the test to be given the next day. As soon as classes were over he hurried home. He ran into his room, changed his clothes and began to underscore. A began to review his lessons. B began to exercise. C lay down to sleep. The correct answer is. A began to review his lessons. 5. When Rosie arrived home, she saw a big pretty doll on her bed. It was a gift sent by her godmother who lived in the city. Rosie hugged her doll and danced happily. Next she got her pen and paper. She sat at the table and began writing underscore. A. A letter of excuse to her teacher. B. A thank you letter to her godmother. C. A letter to her friend in other country. And the answer is. B. A thank you letter to her godmother. A. Learn some more. Read each situation carefully. Tell what will happen next. 1. Lisa washed her hands. She sat quietly along the table. She said a short prayer. Then she began to underscore. I sleep. B. Play. C. Eat. The answer is. C. Eat. 2. Nori washed her face and feet and brushed her teeth. Next, get the pillow and blanket and prayed. Then she underscore. A played outside. B ate her dinner. C laid down to sleep. What is your answer? Correct. C laid down to sleep. 3. Rex put on his work clothes and got his big bucket. He filled the bucket with water and then went to the garden to underscore. A pick vegetables. B water the plants. C pick flowers. And your answer is? B. Water the plants. 4. Princess washed her face and combed her hair. She put on clean clothes and ate her breakfast. Then, she got her school bag and walked to underscore. A. The market. B. School. C. Church. The answer is, letter, B. School. 5. Robin put on his work clothes. He went into the storeroom and got a broomstick. Next, he went to their yard that was covered with dry leaves, and began to underscore. A climb a tree. B play hide and seek. C sweep the dry leaves. The correct answer is. C sweep the dry leaves. Always remember. Predicting is giving possible outcomes or events that could happen in the story based on the situations or ideas presented. That's all for today. See you again tomorrow. Goodbye.